Welcome to this training session on identifying rivets and dimensions. This training session further explains the identification of rivets beyond the rivet types and solid shank rivet materials and identification training sessions. As noted in the rivet types training session the two major types of rivets used in the industry are the common solid shank rivet, which must be driven using a bucking bar and the special, blind, type rivet where bucking is impossible. Aircraft rivets are not hardware store rivets. Aircraft hardware must meet rigid FAA quality standards of strength, performance, integrity and flight characteristics. Store-bought countersunk rivets have heads at 78 degrees versus 100 degrees found on aviation rivets. Standards for aircraft hardware are usually identified by the organization that originated them, such as AN, Air Force Navy, MS, Military Standard, NAS, National Aerospace Standard, just to name a few. This session is not intended to repeat the previously mentioned sessions, so we will only focus on additional information regarding solid shank rivets and blind rivets not mentioned in those shows. The vast majority of solid shank rivets are made of an aluminum or aluminum alloy of various compositions. It is important to know the how to tell them apart by looking at material they are made of and the markings on their head and the AN material code. The chart showed us that there are five grades of aluminum-based rivets usually available. 1100, 2017 T, 2024 T, 2117 T, and 5056 rivets. We will look at qualities of each, moving then on to some of the other materials used for solid shank rivets. The 1100 rivet, which is composed of 99.45% pure aluminum, is very soft. It is for riveting the softer aluminum alloys, such as 1100, 3003, and 5052 which are used for non-structural parts, strength not being a factor. The 2117T rivet, called the field rivet, is very popular for riveting aluminum alloy structures. The field rivet is in wide demand, it is ready for use as received, needing no further heat treating or annealing. It has a high resistance to corrosion. The 2017T and 2024T rivets are used in aluminum alloy structures where more strength is needed than is obtainable with the same size 2117T rivet. These called icebox rivets, are annealed and must be kept refrigerated until driven. The 2017T rivet should be driven within 1 hour and the 2024T rivet within 10 to 20 minutes after removal from refrigeration. The 5056 rivet is used for riveting magnesium alloy structures because of its corrosion-resistant qualities in combination with magnesium. Other materials used for rivets are steel, copper, monol, a nickel cooper alloy, brass and titanium. Mild steel rivets are used for riveting steel parts. The corrosion-resistant steel rivets are for riveting corrosion-resistant steels in firewalls, exhaust stack brackets, and similar structures. Mono rivets are used for riveting nickel steel alloys. They can be substituted for those made of corrosion resistant steel in some cases. The use of copper rivets in aircraft repair is limited. Copper rivets can be used only on copper alloys or non metallic materials, such as leather. It is always important to check the aircraft manufacturer's structural repair manual for the proper application of rivet types and materials. The AC 43.13-1B publication may also be helpful. As a general rule, beyond strength considerations dissimilar metals can contribute to corrosion. Even certain aluminum-based rivets are not always compatible with aluminum-based materials because of certain alloy characteristics. Group A alloys are considered safe with each other and Group B alloys are considered safe with each other. Solid shank rivets part number reveal a lot. The part number AN47083-5. 470 reveals it is a universal head, 426 countersunk, 430 round head, 441 flat head, 456 brazier head. 80 stands for 2117T aluminum alloy. 343-32 diameter. 5 is 5-16 five length. Refer to the head marking chart to see what these head types look like. Blind rivets may be self-plugging, friction lock. Notice the mandrel, that is the bottom portion of the rivet in comparison to subsequent pictures. The thickness of the material being riveted determines the overall length of the shank of the rivet. 
As a general rule, the shank of the rivet should extend beyond the material thickness approximately 3-64 inch to 1-8 inch before the stem is pulled. Another type of blind rivet is the pull-through rivet. Notice the mandrel on this rivet is shorter than the friction lock. A very popular blind rivet in general aviation is the self-plugging, mechanical lock, type. These rivets commonly have a driving anvil, which resembles a flat washer, at the base of the stem. This concludes this training session. We hope you found it useful.